God, I got it serious. I got all her. See, these four watchings. Mm -hmm. God got four angels that's got high rank. And each one of them take an hour. Each one take a watch. A watch go three hours. Watch start at six o'clock. The first watch is at six o'clock to nine o'clock. And we talking about our time. We don't know God time. Through the time we know. Six to nine, that's the first watch. From nine to twelve, that's the second watch. From twelve to three, that's the third watch. From three to six o'clock in the morning, that's the fourth watch. What time Jesus, what watch Jesus was? Between the three and the six o'clock. Because Jesus was that watchman. Why he was that watchman? Because Satan know his time is about to be doomed. Because the symbols of the sun and the moon and the light is the spirit of God. The darkness is the spirit of evil. So from three to six, Satan know he only got three hours left before the Holy Spirit, the light about to come in there. So Jesus was on a boat transformed not in the flesh, bro. That's why they thought he was a ghost. Because he was in the spirit. He was the watchman out there. While they were sleeping on the boat, he, he was watching while we were sleeping. That's why every time we sleep, somebody got to watch us. What did he say? If he if he don't turn the time up, Satan will what? Be by even if he left. We'll do one more verse. One more verse. 31, we're going to go to Matthew 15, 28. 15, 28. Uh, Matthew, Matthew 15, 15, 28. Matthew 15, 28. Read that stuff. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Yeah. Jesus helped a non, a non Jewish woman. See, you know, back in them days, like all this stuff, most stuff you're going to see in here is judicious. It's judicious. This is teaching. Right? But remember, when God said it wasn't for the Jews, it's for my people. So a lot of people running from what was supposed to be for his people because they believe it's judicious for the, for the Jewish people. So some things in the Bible God used, because you know, people don't know God was, he was the law. Jesus didn't fulfill the law, he was the law. He came to show us how to complete the law. So a lot of people, the Jews didn't believe the Gentiles was that supposed to, supposed to be that 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 don't supposed to be taught the law. They couldn't conduct the law. That's what they was against Paul, the way they was against Paul, because God called God called Paul at the time to teach the Gentiles. And the disciples thought he was crazy and ludicrous. And they didn't like him anyway, because he was already killing Christians and when he saw anyway. Jesus left, we're going to go on 21. Jesus left that place and went to the area of Titus, Tyra and Sodom. A Canaanite woman <laughs> from that area came to Jesus and cried out. Now, you know, the Pharisees and the, and the Sadducees thought they were the only ones who knew Christ or they thought they were the only ones who had the truth. They thought they were the only ones can, can do what Moses told him to do. Lord, son of David. Why? You knew what she called him? Now, this is a non Jewish. How she know he was a son of David? <laughs> Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter has a demon and she is suffering very much. But Jesus did not answer the woman. So, 
his followers came to Jesus and bagged to him. Jesus didn't even want to deal with it. You know why? What he was doing. What we, what we teach, what we, what we learning today. What we being, what we, what we, what we, what we studying today. Why he ain't healing right then and there? Because he was going to see what kind of faith she had. Did not just tell y'all when somebody come here and they want to, and they want to be, they coming here to be healed or they coming here to, so we can see can we heal them? We got to make sure they what got that kind of faith. Because if we call ourselves healing them and they don't, then we are we 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 bring division to God. God not the altar of confusion. If that person don't get healed, then we not we making God look ashamed. So you gotta be you don't lay hands quickly on no one. Now quickly. Why he didn't do it? Tell the woman to go away. He told her. She is following us and shouting. Jesus answered, God sent me only to, to, to lose the sheep, to lose the sheep. The people of Israel, y'all have no faith enough to heal this woman. I'm the only one got the power. And then what he's saying to us, the only same thing to us. He's saying the same thing to us. I'm the only one can do the healing. Y'all, I got to be present. I gave y'all the power. The woman came to Jesus again. Look at this faith. Oh, my God. Bow down before him and said, Lord, help me. Jesus answered, it is not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. See, the Jews thought they had the bread. A nun Jew was a dog to them. So if I take the bread from the Jews and give it to the dog, which is the unbeliever. Mm -hmm. But this, she was a believer though. The woman said, yes, look what the woman said. After he, he degraded her, He, degrade, he, he just degraded her to a, de, to a le, lesser degree that she really supposed to be. But he tested her to see what kind of faith do she have. Are we willing to be degraded at our job? Are we willing to be talked about in the, by other churches? Are we willing to be talked about the people outside, because they're going to talk about you because you got something they don't got. And they and they wondering why you got it. And some of them want it, like she wanted. it. The woman said to the Lord, but even the, even the dogs, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that falls from the master table. <laughs> boy, y'all better get it, boy. You better get it up here. We got to get it. Because we're going to have to be degraded to get the kind of faith God trying to show us. Yeah. Are you willing to eat the crumbs of the master table? What do you think we eat? We eat crumbs, bro. Because Jesus is the master. We getting crumbs. And you can still get saved with the crumbs. You know, in verse 25, it says, Then came she in the King James, then came she and worshipped him, saying, what she said, worshipped him. Mm -hmm. When she said, Lord, help me, mm -hmm. that's worship. Mm -hmm. That was her worshiping yep. him. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, worship is obedient. See, the churches today, they say praise and worship, worship. there's no such thing. Mm -hmm. See, when the churches, they, they can be they praising God. When they conducting the music and they bumping it and they pop, that's praising God. But the worship is when you lead and you do what he said. That's it. And calling on him. Exactly. See what I'm saying? That's the worship part. Yeah. See, we praising. You getting all praise and you getting the word of God. But if you lead and you come as you are and go right back and do the same things 
Then you ain't worshiping God. You just praised them. And that's a, I learned that a long time ago. They got that mixed up. Praise and worship. Mm -hmm. Pray, worship is when you leave and obey after you learned what you did. You turned them some of that stuff away and turned and repented. Jesus asked, it is not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dog. The woman said, but even the dogs eat crumbs that falls off the master table. Jesus answered this woman and said, you have great faith. I will do whatever you ask. I don't know if y'all getting, getting this. God is showing us that for the faith we're going to have to get or the faith we seeking, we're going to have to be degraded to get it. And see, why we ain't got it? Because we ain't been degraded. Not to this level. We ain't been degraded. We got to be degraded. We think people is against us. We Some of people get... This woman, you hear what she said? She didn't go and tell my she gonna quit her job. She didn't go and say, forget Jesus. He 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 be great. Even the dogs eat crumbs that pass the table. That's some that's that's some humbleness right there. And at that moment, the woman daughter was healed. Was the woman, was the woman, was the daughter even there? <laughs> see, this is he's showing us another side of the story. We see, we gotta, we gotta write this down, but we gotta write this stuff down. I hope you write it down. He gave us maybe he gave us another puzzle, he gave us another, he gave us another piece. Of the puzzle. The first one was the woman had so much faith that she didn't need nobody. She believed it by herself. The second one was that he asked them, Do you got enough faith to be healed? This one was that she got so much faith, the kid might don't even got to hide that faith, but the mama got faith to heal her own kid. See the three things he's giving us? Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful how we call ourselves conducting healingness among somebody. Because he just gave us three signs how to do it. In them three ways. It's many more. Because mm -hmm. the first one, you ain't you ain't they ain't coming to you anyway. They got no, they got that much power to believe in Jesus themselves. They go, they ain't got they ain't got listen to no service. They ain't got listen to nobody on, on, on TV. It ain't that, none of that. They believe through their own power right. that if they I get that Jesus, so. I'm gonna be healed. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. The next one had to come to him, had to come to church, had to come to the pastor. But the pastor better have his sermon and say, Do, do you believe? Or the or the pastor called somebody out because they got a stiff arm or somebody told them that they got cancer or something. But do you believe? Do you believe? And you know what I do? Because I get I, I get them to stir at the other woman. That's what I do first. Mm -hmm. So I won't be in I, I won't be in the wrong. Mm -hmm. I bet do you do you do you know the story of the woman that bled for years? They had that much power and, and belief in Jesus that she didn't have to even come to church. And just believe that she just touched something that was connected to them. She believes she's going to be here. Do you know that story? Do you got that kind of thing? And if you don't, this we want to do. I'm sitting you here with Miss Jackson. She's going to take you to the back, take all your information. And we want to start constantly. We got to get that kind of faith. Because the second one, you got to believe. That means relationship. You got to be. The mother of this baby 
She already connected because it came to her.